cuckoo. Not long after we moved down to Somerset, in a conversation with the daughter-in-law of our local farmer, I was lamenting the lack of cuckoos in the village. But we hear them all the time, she said, looking at me with that combination of kindness and pity that Somerset folks save for incomers from London like me. One sits on the roof just outside my bedroom window. I hear it all year round. Now it was my turn to be kind. I'm afraid that might be a different kind of bird. Uh, I diffidently ventured, did he go coo, coo, coo? The answer was affirmative. In that case, I'm afraid what you're hearing is not a cuckoo, but a collared dove. They, they do sound very similar. The mu so much for the widely held notion that country folk know far more about wildlife than townies. Though to be fair, she's probably too young to have heard a real cuckoo with its distinctively syncopated call. Later that day, I went out on my bike in another vain search for cuckoos. It's not as if there aren't enough reed warblers, one of the cuckoos' favourite host species here. Their harsh, chuntering song echoes around the lanes from late April through to June. Yet despite the abundance of this elusive summer visitor, I have yet to hear a cuckoo in our parish. The reason for the decline of the cuckoo, that classic harbinger of spring for generations past, is something of a mystery. It hasn't happened everywhere. Scottish cuckoos, which mainly use meadow pipits as their host, are doing rather well, having held their own whilst the English population has declined by almost two thirds in the past 20 years. The latest research suggests this may be because the two populations take different migration routes. One suggestion for the cuckoo's decline, the loss of habitat on its wintering grounds in Africa, cannot be to blame, or at least not completely so. A more likely reason is the massive decline in the availability of the cuckoo's chick's main food, the caterpillars of our larger moths, which have suffered catastroph catastrophic falls in the south of Britain. After searching the lanes around my home, I give up and head down to the Avalon marshes, where there are still a few cuckoos, but it, even when I finally hear that classic call, my joy is tinged with sadness.